I think we are live. Are we live? Okay, great. So, uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Sandeep Sharma, the pediatric faculty at Dr. Tutorials. So, the NEET PG 2025 result is finally out. A uh, lot of success stories, and we are very privileged and honored to invite Dr. Abhilesh Rana to this interview. Dr. Abhilesh Rana has got a stupendous success. He has got All India Rank 27, and he has made his family, his teachers, and everyone so proud. So first of all, Dr. Abhilesh, congratulations and welcome to this interview. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Abhilesh, first of all, we'll be starting with your background. What place you belong to, where you did your MBBS from, and was it your first attempt or not? Uh, I belong to the state of Odisha, and uh, I did uh, my MBBS from Sri Ram, Sri Ramchandra Bhanja uh, Medical College and Hospital in Katak. And it was my first attempt this time. First things first, is this feeling already settled in, or you are still thinking that, you know, I am take, I am dreaming? Because All India Rank 27 is like awesome result. Uh, till now, I haven't. <laughs> digested the fact <laughs> actually it's like dreaming only yes i know it will take a few days for it to settle down so abhilash uh, let us dive right into the neat pg preparation what was the time you yeah. actually thought that i should you know start preparing what was the time in your mbbs you started really or seriously preparing for the entrance exam uh, actually i uh, started the preparation uh, from the start of the internship that is from the uh, april 2024 but uh, in between the postings it was very yeah. difficult to manage but full full heartedly i prepared from uh, february of 2025 okay february 25 so but at the yeah. same time when you were you know doing your uh, university exams and your clinical postings yeah. were you also looking yeah. at mcqs in between and uh, topics in between because it is very difficult for yeah. someone to finish off the syllabus yes yes uh, i was actually seeing the videos and uh, doing the q banks uh, during my profs profs so you were doing it prof wise yes yes okay so i think it's it's more of a thing where someone has you know attended the college lectures and also you know simultaneously few videos watched important topics cleared concepts cleared mcq done i think small small things add up and this is the reason why you know a uh, lot of students have got first attempt such tremendous scores so dr abhilash yes. what was your view of the exam like people were of the opinion it is a very easy exam your views of the exam what were the tougher areas easier areas and how did you you feel about the exam actually uh, uh, in my point of view the exam was not that very easy but it was in a easy to moderate uh, level means uh, there were a lot of uh, single single answer questions there were also clinical oriented questions a uh, lot of pyqs were also there and also there was there were also questions in which you have to think and and think analyze and uh, app, uh, apply the facts so it was uh, i will tell it was uh, easier than the 2024 but uh, somehow at the level of 2023 exam so it was not that easy as people are making out to be on social media. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Abhilash, uh, what were the areas you felt that you did well, which were on the easier side, even in the exam subjects yes. I'm talking about? Yes. And what were the areas you feel were on the tougher side? Because that will give us a clue for the future aspects. Uh, I think... Uh... Uh, I did well with uh, OG, uh, then surgery, uh, micro, pharma, patho. Actually, these are my the strong uh, strong portions, and I did well. But uh, I thought uh, physiology was easy, but uh, I did a lot of mistakes there. Uh, I think it was a bit difficult there. Physiology and uh, 
but still despite that you were able to do well uh, right uh, obviously better than most people so abilash uh, coming to your preparation strategy uh, what were the resources like uh, related to doc tutorials that you used which you found useful for your preparation like what were the thing was it gts or uh, what were the thing quick revision program before this interview we are discussing about it so what were the things you found useful uh i i use a quick revision program just 3 month before the exam and it was very useful means i was able to revise everything within a very short span of time and uh, it uh, it actually gave me confidence uh, that i can revise everything before just before the exam and can do well also great. i think quick revision is a must oh great great and uh, did you give any grant test also apart from the preparation yes. Uh, yes uh, one to two grand test i gave before the exam okay and you were scoring well in the grand tests means uh, in all my gt the uh, the rank the, the number of questions correct uh, re- ranges from 150 to 160 it was never uh, above 170 it was 150 to 165 67 that much only okay but i think uh, you were scoring that score consistently and i think that was the most important thing so who were the uh, faculty members like whose uh, teaching or whose quick revision program you found useful during your preparation from dr tutorials yes sir i found the the ent lectures and uh, uh, biochemistry lectures and pediatric lectures uh, very useful they were very handy and you could revise it within Hardly one to two days. It will be required only. Great, great. And uh, you know these these days, I, uh, the, it is a very controversial thing. Nobody reads yes. textbook these days. Did you read textbooks? Yes. And what yes, were yes. those? I read. Uh, uh, I would. Uh, yes, sir, sir. I would uh, recommend everyone to read uh, the standard textbooks uh, for the first, second, and third prof. Uh, I used. Uh, BDC for uh, Anat and uh, Gaitan for Biochem and uh, Vasudevan for Biochemistry and uh, Robbins for Patho uh, and um, uh, and uh, for my I used KD Tripathi and for uh, uh, Optha ENT I have Ding Dingra and Kurana respectively. But uh, I was not able to read all the books in uh, final year because it was very heavy. so i would recommend to at least uh, give a read to uh, books like uh, robbins uh, kd tripathi and uh, gaitan and uh, vasudevan these are the must i guess everyone should read it give at least one read so dear friends who are listening to this interview in this world of shortcuts and fast food we have dr abhilash who built it up slowly focused on the textbooks did not neglect his university exams did some mcqs and some videos on the side in internship he focused his attention on quick revision program because he had already read the things in his prof and he came out with a top rank in the neat pg i think uh, you are a classic example of how someone is supposed to prepare because end of the day this world this is it is moving towards the world of shortcuts shortcuts are needed your view on this that is it the shortcut only or you know concepts always help no no the the building blocks the foundation should be concepts only and later you have to make the roof so you have to use shortcuts before just before the exam it's like batting like cheteshwar pujara and ajinkya rahane initially building it up yeah. and then turning into surya kumar yadav and uh, rinku singh right it is uh, giving a cricketing analogy i hope you like cricket as well <laughs> <laughs> So, Doctor Abhilash, uh, what are you planning to take up? What are you planning to take? From the very beginning, I liked medicine very much, so I'm planning to pursue medicine. Okay, awesome. And uh, seed matrix will be out, so I think you will be deciding whether to stay close to home or go to a place like Delhi. Yet to be decided, right? Uh, for the time being, I'm thinking to settle here, but God knows that will happen. <laughs> times change because you'll be talking to a lot of people so there will be you know changes in the opinions what matters is you are in a rank you are at a rank where there is a luxury that you can decide finally uh, abilash uh, 
would you be recommending doc tutorials and its programs that you utilize for your junior yes yes i would recommend everyone to look up on the uh, the ra rapid revision uh, two to three times uh, if they can just before the exam it will be very useful you can revise it at least two to three times before the exam and it will give you confidence that you, you have remembered everything because there are a lot of facts you have to just mug up right before the exam so you can do that and um, and you have to give at least gt every if not every week every two, two weeks every fortnightly you can give one gt and you have to analyze that and you have to build up on the wrong uh, the number of questions you left and the number of questions you guessed by that you can know what your level is and you can always improve upon that okay so abilash many of your uh, people listening to you they have not done well in this exam they will be sitting they will have approximately one year if you were the one to advise your you know alternate self ki these are the things to yes. do these are the things not to do how would you advise someone one year time frame is available mm, i would tell everyone to uh, take at least uh, one or two weeks just rest if they are uh, having any issues with the results then they should start as early as possible uh, and they should st uh, start slowly because you have to build on concepts so you watch the videos and simultaneously you give all the qu you uh, do all the questions from the qbank bank and uh, then you start gi giving gt uh, from the very beginning because you will know your level because uh, what you are lacking what you are good at uh, in which subject you need improvement so you should give uh, gt at least uh, every two weeks and then you increase the frequency and at least uh, do two, four or five reads just before the exam great so keep it simple build it conceptual more mcq practice and more revisions is the key of dr abilash success dr abilash this success must have been uh, tough for you there must have been highs and lows and doubt period so a lot of people must have supported you who are the people you want to dedicate this success to and shout outs you want to give anybody or a group of people yes yes um actually the major contribution goes to my mother actually uh, uh, she uh, helped me in every every state uh, he does every my every work uh, she never complained about uh, why i'm um, studying very late why i'm rising very late in the morning actually she cooperated me in every stage and um, and thank you will be very less for what she has done for me and uh, the second one will my brother every day she will uh, he will uh, call me in whatsapp and will give me <laughs> motivation talk that you you do good uh, you will give a lot of gts you go do more questions you will do you will get very good rank that's and my one of my friend uh, uh, she is my best friend and we used to study together from the final year and uh, i think uh, we studied for uh, one to two months uh, just before the ini but after that she she fell, she fell ill so i had to prepare alone but she also very uh, one of the most uh, um, important uh, thing in my life that she uh, supported me she uh, she always had uh, faith on me that i will do good and she also she also did great in the exam how much is she uh, is what's her rank uh, uh, she got uh, 2000 something rank okay great 2000 is also a good score in such a exam yes, where yes. there is a lot of clustering Actually, yes. so uh, birds of same feather flock together uh, when you are preparing together and both of you are preparing well i think everyone benefits from that dr abilash uh, let me tell you uh, you are a very very uh, positive person you are a very very you know full of life person at the same time rooted so it was lovely discussing with you lovely seeing your point of view and i'm quite sure everyone who's listening to this interview would note down the points which dr abilash has said you have made everyone proud and on behalf of the entire doc tutorial team the faculty team the management team i wish you all the best and may you become the top medicine physician of the country in the coming years thank you very much sir thank you for your time all the best
party hard you don't get success that easily these days right thank you thank you thank you abhilash thank you so much thank, thank you everyone thank you